Hi, I'm Hugo. And I'm Jimmy. And we're Flight Facilities. And you're watching Want Electronic. Hi guys, I'm Eleanor Wells with Want Electronic and Magnetic Magazine, and I am with Hugo and Jimmy of Flight Facilities. Welcome guys. Thank you. Thank you. How y'all doing? Good. Pretty good. good yeah. Awesome. Well, I uh, I heard that you guys started out as a pizza delivery boy and barista. Was, yeah. Very true. So we got you some coffee and some pizza to make you feel at home. <laughs> I was just looking at that right yeah, and I was like, I wonder. that's for. I didn't really make the connection. I was just looking at it like lunch. Yeah, right? Right up your alley. Um, so yeah, um, riffing off that. How did you guys make the jump from pizza delivery and coffee to music? I guess like... In the early stages of anyone's music career, you need to make money, and you don't. <laughs> in the early stages of, I think it's sure. like acting and music or anything like artist-based, you need a support. So I guess that they were ours. Yeah, you need to do something else otherwise. Hugo just, was a mean up. pizza delivery guy. Yeah, like I did even it for like five or six years, like longer yeah. than oh, wow. longer than you would expect to be a pizza. Like you kind of think about it and go, this will just be my in between thing right. and five years later I was like this is much of an in between thing right. it is now thank god well Climbing now you guys are probably an inspiration of pizza boys around the world I know my way around Sydney pretty well now that's yeah. the it's back amazing alleys. like the back alleys I'm like how do you oh yeah that's yeah <laughs> Do you guys have any good stories? I always wonder with pizza delivery, like what? Do you get any exactly what you're asking? Right? Do you get some yeah. weird tips or some? Tell them. Yeah, tell them. Oh, shit now. Dish. <laughs> oh god, I used to deliver regularly to um. There's no good way of putting. Uh, we call it a rub massage, and tug. Yeah, we call them rub and tugs. I used to deliver to a lot of rub and tug places. <laughs> and you can to yeah. massage parlors, erotic massage. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we have them there. I used to too. deliver to a lot of a lot of them. Deliver. And oh. and they were because they're hungry afterwards. I guess so. They work up an appetite. That's <laughs> and so and so I can't believe we're already here. Like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, and I told you I was going to ask the hard questions. Yeah, you've but, done um, some <laughs> research. I like it. <laughs> I'm already completely on the hook for something that I was wasn't connected. But the worst part about I it was you get there. when you, there was. There's, uh, there's so many puns for this. There was a backdoor right. entrance to this place yes. through the back of the car park to the pizza place, <clears throat> which is actually where our studio was for a long time. There's no connection there either. Sure. And then there was, sure. the, front, <laughs> there was, there was the front door entrance as well. And I was just a kind of shiny, stupid 18 year old. So I'd just walk in and out of the front entrance and I never realized how bad it was like walking out, counting money out of the front door. Right. Yeah. So awesome. that's, that was my kind of career of delivering to ladies of the night you did get mm. a gift from one of them one time i did oh okay there's a gift right. is this all going in there yeah sorry, totally sorry. man <laughs> go on i go <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it i was i was involuntary motorboated i guess <laughs> Or, or I, uh, Wait, so you got motorboated? She made me, it's like she made, she grabbed my head and my like, God. I got uh -huh. Was it like Easter or Christmas or something? And she it was, was like, Easter and she was like, here's your tip. And, and then, and then I motorboated her. But I didn't like, I didn't, <laughs> my God. I didn't put my head in there to do it. She grabbed my head right, and, right. and then like, Against your it was will. like a second hand. Here's red as a tomato. I can't yeah. believe I'm already talking about having my face rubbed in tits. I love like, it. I love it. An yeah, man. You're trying to get the good stuff on here, right? Awesome. Oh, no. We've achieved gold in the first five. If I was pale at any point, I'm probably not now. Yeah, I'm, right? I'm a different color. Well, now that you're like big time musician, I'm surprised you don't get more of that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, like... we try to like get rid of that reputation, but now I've just told the world that I've had a face full of You're boot. totally going to get that now. I feel like that's going to be the go-to response. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're going to get a lot of motorboat in the future. I'm going to find out a way to bury Jimmy in this interview now. I'm, <laughs> I'm clean. No. Oh, awesome. No, no. We're friends. Well, thank you for sharing. We I'm, really appreciate I think, it. I think thank I you gave you everything. Sharing. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah. So how did you guys, when you started making music, did you know you were, you know, setting out to make a full album and then hopefully go on world tour? Was that your dream starting out or were you kind of just... It's what you love. It's just, you just kind of look for the next step. Yeah. You kind of go, oh, I'm not doing anything now. I'm going to DJ. I'm going to, once I've kind of done that, I'm going to maybe try and remix someone's stuff and then right. try and get better gigs. And then I'm going to try and do an original. Make a living. Doing it's just like love. a small yeah. step. You well, can't really shoot from one to ten in a good. Yeah, one we go. never thought we would make a living from it. It was like a fun thing. Like, I think our parents were the most worried about it. Right. Like, I think our parents never thought we were going to make a living. That's the, that's yeah. the, they're like, yeah. so when are you going to, it's like a phase. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> when are you going to come out the other side of yeah. this? When are you going to go to law school? Yeah. Right. Do, so, yeah when are you going to do something? And now like you're laughing all the job. way to the bank, right? Well, 
kind of. It's yeah. all right. It's more like you need those moments of them recognizing. We we said the one thing was it was on a uh, it was on an advertisement in Sydney, or like around Australia, and that's when our parents saw it and they were like, oh, I get it. There's music on an ad. Yeah, that's both <laughs> of them were like. Oh, okay, you keep doing what you're doing. You know, yeah, like, yeah. they kind of got it. Yeah, the yeah. worst part was, I think I was in England when mum called me. We were on a tour in Europe, and that hadn't registered to her, but as soon as, like, there was a song on television, she was like, your song's on TV. I was like, I'm, I'm on the other side of the world playing music. This is, <laughs> this is pretty cool, too. Yeah, yeah. She, that was all she was giving me. Was there a, yeah, do you have a story where you, like, one time, where you're like, okay, I think, I think we're making it, you know? Like, was there... Was it when you heard yourself on the radio uh, or? No, because I was still delivering pizzas and then hearing the song on the radio. You even went back in like a year and a half ago. And yeah, I went, I went back did, on the pizza. Just, just, just for fun. <laughs> yeah. It's a fun job. I to get motorboated some more? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I miss those good old right. times. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. Is there any? Uh, there was like points when we went on our first year. Uh, actually, so we went on our first European tour and we prom promised each other once we went overseas with it, we'd get tattoos. And oh so God, I got, I got this. I don't Amazing. know if you can see that. Awesome. And you go, I'm a blank canvas. Did you chicken out? Yeah. No, I didn't chicken out. It, it wasn't did. like I was in the store. I was like, oh, I'm just gonna get a dot. No, well, it didn't get that far. So yes, you chicken uh, out. I was. There's no good way of coming back from this, is yeah. there? He's, uh, I look so bad. Now. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like, I respect it definitely. But I was like, and I'm not. If I, if it was like came down to life and death, like you got to get a tattoo. It's the first thing I get. Nice. I just, I just, I don't know. I can't. I can't but bring that myself. was the point. Yeah. Uh, we were like, yeah, like, and that was kind of a symbol of like, we're doing something, you know. Like, yeah. I mean, getting a thing on your skin for life is like, <laughs> something's happening here, you know. Yeah. Hopefully, anyway, great. I've done things. Yeah, I've, I've got yeah, you're committed this. now. I suppose it's like you want to do something as well and justify it. When when we did it quite early on, people after gigs are really nice and they come up and they take a photo with you and you want to justify them having that photo mm -hmm. as well. You don't want mm, them you know, in three years. They want to be like, oh, I saw them. I got a photo with them, rather right. than being like. Who's that stranger on your Facebook? Yeah. yeah, even now, like people paying for shows, like there's such pressure to make it the best you possibly can for them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, like that's the that's the biggest thing that we think of. Like we're we're there right now. We're about to go on tour with all our new stuff from the record. Right. And like that's where we're, our heads are. Like we've got to make this the best thing possible for people. Yeah, yeah. you think a lot of it from a crowd perspective. You want it to be something that you would want to go to. Yeah, yeah exactly. Awesome. Um, about your upcoming tour, there. There are certain cities you guys are super stoked to visit. Yeah, I mean, we love New York and LA. Yeah. Always. They have fun. Okay. And Any new destinations you haven't been to yet? Um, we, I want to do more of like, more of middle America, just to see what Yeah, it's like. the weirdness. Yeah. Sweet. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you, um, I heard that your, you know, album, Down to Earth, you kind of made on accident. How does that happen? It was we just didn't realize we had enough songs for oh. an album because we take so long to make one that we we looked at a playlist of music and went, oh, there's enough for an album, and mm. then we both kind of tried to deny. Yeah, the fact I that mean, we did have us one and our manager Sam, we were like, when, once we realized we had enough for an album because he has to orchestrate the rollout and things that happen, and you know, for an album it's so much more work. We went to him going like and he had the same feeling too and, and then the look on his face was the same that we were feeling we're like it's great but it's just so much more work and we're like yeah okay we know what we're in for now and yeah. so we all decided that we should do it but it was it was by accident because we were setting out to do this other thing we were going to do like a almost like a rapper's mixtape sort of thing we wanted a whole lot of video content but then once we realized that we could do this it's like it's a more traditional, I suppose, thing to follow. We knew. Yeah, you don't have to do an album in a career at all. Like you can get by on singles, but right. it, doing an album like elevates you to another media platform, I guess it is. And Definitely. like having a body of work then to give to fans is right. such a cool feeling. Yeah, people as well. are still kind yeah. of stuck in that mentality of like, where can I buy the CD? Like, yeah. Ah. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but on like a selfish note as well, it's like I really can't wait to show my kid a full, mm. you know, body of work or like an album. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, something to prove you did something. Yeah, it's progression. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Um, yeah, and then how did you guys decide to make Two Bodies the single? It was the first. That was the first song we wrote with like a bigger body of work in mind. Yeah. That we knew we were going to be doing something. And it was the first kind of real session that we'd done. Yeah. It like that song in general kind of just gets you. Like mm. even now, like having you kind of imagine the amount of times that we've listened to it and I'm still like I still find some cool stuff in it every you know every now and again when I listen to it and so I think from that perspective you know that there's something special about it because we have played it to death 
yeah. and like magnified parts and like gone over and over and over and like even then when you're not sick of it, it's like I guess it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's our yeah. first kind of dancier type thing. It's more it's more kind of electronic yeah. in that in mm -hmm. that sense. Most of our other stuff's been a bit more organic, which we have on the album, but it's um it just a kind of a step in a certain direction that we also like. Yeah. yeah. It's fun and new. Yeah. Yeah. You guys made a, a Spotify playlist with some of the songs that influenced you for yeah. that single, right? Yeah. Um, what what were what certain songs were like most inspirational or There's a song featuring uh, one of the guys on the record, Steve Down. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, it's by a group called Lovebirds and they're from Germany and they're like more house and te techno like dance music. And it's called Want You in My Soul and it was a huge reference. Yeah, for that was a really things. big influence for, yeah. for what we for what we're trying to kind of achieve. It's more a feeling that we try to get out of a song than trying yeah. to replicate. Right, right. And yeah. that's why on the Spotify playlist we'd like do it in kind of, there was like a colour term and it's like like going from feeling to colour. And we did that to reference a lot of songs for the record. We were like, what does that feel like? And we mm. put like a group of three songs that feel have the same feeling and kind of pulled a reference from that, try to make a song. And so hopefully we'll get to do more playlists with more singles that come out with colours. Cool. Yeah, it's, it's just really like cool. showing how we kind of get to, it's the first place we start, we go, we like these songs, let's try and capture that same. Yeah, and is this stuff that you grew up listening to, or what did you guys grow up listening to, is that? Everything. Yeah. Like so many things, I mean like, from uh, Van Morrison to Korn. <laughs> yeah. Nice, <laughs> like, nice. That's, yeah, it's that's all a pretty good spectrum. Right? Well, it's the best yeah. place to draw it from, you can grab something from, it can even be as simple as maybe a drum pattern from a song from the 70s. You can go, I really like that. Let's incorporate that and then use the kind of uh, maybe synth sounds from something from the 80s or yeah. 90s. And yeah. It's trying to figure out which bits you should grab because you can make something and make some horrible kind of Frankenstein. But right. um, if you do it right, which I suppose we've done it wrong before. It just hasn't come out before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you won't hear that. That's smart. <laughs> yeah. yeah, those will never see the light They'll of day. They'll stay on yeah. the computer for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> You guys do uh, decade mixes, right? Where like everything's from yeah, we did decade. we did four of them. They yeah, like, it was just that was just a really long project just to see how much time we could. That was like another oh kill. no, we know we've got to do it. Yeah, now. really. You know, it's gonna take so because it's so daunting. Yeah, but once you get it done, it it's doesn't like seem daunting at first, and then and then it really is. And then you realize how much of saying, a perfectionist yeah. Yeah. you are. Yeah, <laughs> it's you get a limitless, it and right? Go, I've gone too far. I've told people this is happening and I'm, I can't back out. And then I also can't make it any, you know, you can't make them worse towards the end because it looks like you've just gone, eh. Yeah, you gave up. So you have to kind of keep that consistency of quality up. Right. Um, is there a certain decade you'd like to like take on tour? Or oh, we've sense? done a couple of decade shows. Yeah, we oh, have. Yeah? It's, it's like a fun. side show that we do sometimes where cool. instead of just saying it's a DJ show, like we actually theme it in a decade, which is really fun. Do people get dressed up? At the yeah. beginning of the year, we got dressed up. <gasps> as oh, yeah, we got dressed up. Like one time for field day in Australia on New Year's Day, we got dressed up in like, f we did the 90s because we let people in the festival vote for which one they wanted. Cool. Yeah. And they voted for the 90s, so we came out in bucket hats and like full added us track suits and played open with Freestyle by the Bump Bump. <laughs> oh, wow. And it was just like hip hop really and like, a kind of bit of 90s house and stuff like that. It was just fun for us to do to see if we could do it. Yeah, yeah. it's just we, kind of poking, like having heaps of fun and making everyone. Yeah, it's know. all about that. Yeah, Keeping yeah. It everyone fun. kind of loves that nostalgic thing as well. Yeah, yeah. people are always the 90s chase. are back in a big way. I was going to say that's uh, it, it overwhelmingly won the vote. Yeah, yeah, totally. definitely. Nice. And prompted us to, I guess, like that track, the track on our record with Bishop Nero, mm -hmm. the kind of like, yeah, that was a big part of our 90s influence. Yeah, we yeah. referenced like kind of, I guess, West Coast. Uh, the hip hop style, yeah. and it, yeah, it was really cool. And he's such a good and upcoming uh, rapper. He's gonna be huge. I yeah, you guys have a lot of cool collaborations on the record. Yeah, we got and really I was, lucky. Yeah, I was curious about Reggie Watts. Like, yeah, yeah, we went um, to the show last night. Comedian yeah. that also makes music. I actually just watched his TED talk, which is oh, really isn't cool. that amazing? Yeah, yeah, the one where he speaks in Spanish to start with. Yeah, yeah, like, I was really confused. I was like, oh, there's a Spanish TED yeah. talk. Oh, no, 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 just keep watching. Yeah. Um, but yeah, how did you guys link up with him? And it was just through management. We watched really? him. We we'd watch so many YouTube videos and things like that. That he was that. It, it's someone you you're drawn to, yeah. just yeah. for whatever reason. You're like, I want to work with him. Exactly. Yeah. He seems like such a lovely guy, and it turns out he is. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's the most down to earth, like amazing guy. Like, eh? <laughs> and, uh, I didn't want that pun in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, good. we went to his show last <laughs> night and checked him out and then like just hung out and chatted for ages 
um, after after the show, and we're actually shooting a video with him tomorrow, so it's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah he's amazing. he's a really cool guy. I'm excited about. It, you can put him in front of anyone, and he can do anything yeah. without any preparation. It seems. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Can you give us any deets on this video you're doing? No, no? No. Oh, no, it's, it's all, all hush hush. Secret. Okay, we gotta keep yeah. Damn it! Was revealed Come about on, the I thought I loosened you <laughs> up. Yeah. Come that's on, all I'm willing to tell you about booze. Like, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah, guys, that was amazing. Thank awesome. you so much Thank for sharing. Thank you very sharing. much. Thanks for having yeah, me. Yeah, I'm so glad yeah, you guys came in. Thank you for sharing. I know, right? <laughs> so, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you, guys. Adios.